right, we are about to embark on the most epic family vacation ever. Right now. Let's go, she can have some of this. People, people, this is why we wanted to come to Nahant. This beach is so cool. Wow. We are about to embark on the most epic family vacation ever. Are you all ready? We're ready. Ruru. 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 Fan, you ready? All right, they're ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Six hour drive. With a toddler with a toddler and another baby named Ro. This is about to be epic. I hear you, Ro. Oh, wait. Pull back in. Good thing I remember it. Didn't even leave the driveway and we're already oh, going back. Like oh my gosh. Here. Remember we did forget that before? Oh yeah, I remember. Last trip. Finn's got her freshies, and check this out. So we were right here, and now we are right here. So we made it pretty far. So we're literally about to cross into New York, and then from there, well, we're gonna take 95. I don't even see 95, where does it go? Over this way. We're gonna go on to 14, and then I guess cross this part of the Hudson River and then go into Connecticut and then up into Massey. It's okay, Finn. These boots are made for walking <laughs> and that's just what I do. Look, she's so unsure of them. Yeah, it's wild. They First fit her steps. Though. Look at this girl on her new boots. Are they heavy? <laughs> Finley, no, not these leaves. Not these leaves, girl. Finn, Finn, Finn. Look at these booties. She's so good. Look at her. She's getting the hang of it already. Princess things. Yeah, look. Mom and daughter's new shoes. Yeah, good girls. I heard if you like act like you're walking weird, kind of like how how she does. It gives her confidence. It gives her confidence. Yeah, like that post that I made though about like falling and then getting back up and being like, Mama can fall. Mama falls too and gets back up. It actually does work though. Like. If you just noticed how she just noticed I was walking weird and then she kind of just started walking more. Look at her running! Beverly.
just checking out the scene back here. But what's up? We just arrived to our rental property. So we're gonna be staying in, well, a few years ago, two years ago, we stayed in Salem and we brought our cat Rue, black cat, obviously. We had a great time. We stayed for like three days. So this year we went to go book it, but the same place was not available and we found a different place. So here we are. We're actually in Beverly, Massachusetts, which is right across from Salem. It's really close, but this is the place we booked. So this was a very last minute. We did book one place and it got canceled because they said pet friendly, but no cats allowed. Either way, it's the second and third floor of this place. I'm about to go pick up our dinner because we just ordered, but once we get back, I'll show you guys the inside of the house. But for now, we're gonna go on a little tour of the local town here. So welcome, welcome to join us on our family vacation here to Massachusetts. This is the street we're staying on right here. I just pulled out of the driveway a little ways back and check this out. This is epic. We'll just drive right down here and the, there's a beach right here. Wow, this is so cool. This is really nice. And the whole anchorage down in there, unreal. This is New England for you. This is New England for you, for me, for everyone. They got kayaks down there. This is about to be a fun couple days. It really feels like it's about to start pouring out right now. But this is the street we drove in on. That's the city hall, oh, I believe that's city hall. And this is that big church. I literally just parked right in front of it. And yeah, so the restaurant we ordered from is right here. It's a bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but literally almost everything was closed. Most of the stuff I looked up was closed because I guess it's a Monday. Yo, there's no way somebody just took a shit right there. Are you kidding me right now? Just this nice, quaint New England town walking down the street about to get my food and that's what I see? That does not give a first impression at all. Wow. That's serious. That's a serious problem. That's no minor issue right there. But this is the place. Soma. And it's a restaurant and a bar. All right, as you guys may or may not know, we did bring Ruru. Cause she's the only black cat that we have. And she's the, this is her trip to say all. Ru. And really it's because she started off the tradition with us two years ago. So we didn't get to go last year. But she went with us the first time we ever went to Salem. One Beverly, but the first time we Go went ahead. to Salem, she came with us and she really, really liked it. Who's room is this? Well, we were in the other room talking and we heard Rue going, meow, meow. <laughs> we came in here and she was like, just laying on the bed. Now I can hear Finn because she's literally right here. Mm -hmm. Like right there, probably. In the sleeping up there. Well, not sleeping, but about to be. Good thing he said pets allowed. Yeah. Because <laughs> the way she's around with this. Just got back. For the most part, so this is Soma. For the most part, I'm just going to show you guys a little preview because we're probably just going to eat and not film it. Caesar salad. Looks pretty good. Okay, no idea what that is. But this is what I got. Wow, wow. Swordfish tacos. No, they did not. No, they did not. Yum, yum. Yeah, I was just gonna show the food and then we'll eat. This is yours. We'll just bring it up, and right? And they gave you a salad too? No, I bought the salad for us both. Oh, nice. That was a good idea. That's why it was like $72. <laughs> <laughs> you sick 
<laughs> yeah, that was just so fancy. You're on. There was people hey, drinking like eighty dollars. The yeah, there was people ever. drinking thirty-four dollar martinis. I see them at the day like, oh, yes, New England. No. <laughs> this, this slot for twenty bucks. <laughs> It literally smells like butt cheese. <laughs> and it was done so quick. How did they cook that in five minutes? Well, <laughs> I'm going to have to eat it because I, this is the only thing I got right now. And I'm starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. We're good. And I have to clean up, clean out her uh, carrier and her bottles. And then I have to... There's a lot. Soma dining session about to go down. We're good. Damn, where's it? One, two, three. How many bottles did I bring? Okay, here we are. Beverly, Massachusetts. One town over from Salem. Here we are, this is where we're staying. Cars down there. That's the street. And this street leads to the beach like I was saying yesterday. Crazy first night in the house. So apparently if Finn is sleeping in her crib and you're in the same room as her and she senses that she can get you to pick her up she does not stop so we had to literally move into the living room onto the pull out couch and then she went to sleep but pretty gnarly night but i will show you guys and girls everyone the house right now like i promised so i am making my claims before i had any coffee but that's okay full tour of the house so this is the backyard back deck pretty nice and then this is the main area where we're gonna be staying in the top floor here oh good morning good morning all the princesses are in one room where's Ru? i have no idea where Ru is. Ruru. this is the main big sitting area we slept on there half the night so that comes out and makes a pretty good bed bathroom Actually, this is really nice. This was a selling point for me. Because we've been to some places that had really creepy showers. Gonna have to explore this attic later. Laundry room, which is a plus. The main bedroom. Captain's quarters, as Sammy would say. King size bed. I mean, it says captain's quarters. It does? Yeah. She's trying to go to the toilet. Captain's quarters. So I guess the captain of this boat... Her name is Finley Magic. Finley Magic, because she's the one who took over the captain's quarters last night. All right, let's go down. See where Ruru is. So kitchen, pretty big kitchen. That's a plus. This freak show operation is probably the scariest thing I've ever seen in an Airbnb. But they didn't show that online. That was hidden. Epic dining room. Doesn't get much better. You know, game night, hanging out, reading the catcher in the rye. Here's another bedroom. Then we got this living room, which is also fire. The beach is like the bay, beach, lagoon, whatever you call it, is literally right down there where that, see it? You can fully see it. This is the front of the house. This little area is actually really cool. I like that. And then this is another third bedroom. So this would be for like the kids. Can't beat it. But the one thing that's pretty crazy about this place is there's another floor underneath this. So when you come in, you come in through this entranceway, which is, by all accounts, scary as shit. Yeah, we're gonna go get some coffee in a minute. I will just continue to film and you guys can come along with us for the day and explore Salem, Massachusetts, Beverly, Massachusetts, and wherever else we may go. Oh, he's so cute. This is a true bean special right now. Oh yeah. Found your banky? Don't be pulling too hard on that table, it's pretty. Okay. This is the town of Beverly. They got multiple churches. They got a lot of empty storefronts here. And Bonefish Harry's looks pretty cool, actually. Kind of reminds me of back home. Kind of. 
just a little. They're actually real. The coffee shop, what's brewing? We ain't fitting in there. Oh man. Tight squeeze it to, to uh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, looks like it's maybe the only coffee shop in town from the looks of how many people cruise through there. But that's all right, we got what we wanted. And it's actually a beautiful day. Can't beat it, right Finn? Yeah, I mean, that's like a brunch. Check this out. What is this? It says the dandy. It's like a little sticker to hold it from spilling. I never saw one like that before. But let's try it. They meant, when I said sugar, they took it, literally. Egg and cheese, poppy bagel. Let's see what they're working with here. Did they cut it in half for you? Yeah, they cut it in half for us. Nope, they didn't. No they cutting. Didn't it the bagel itself is really soft, but they overcooked it. Goat Hill Lane. Maybe I should have worn. I don't even have a bra with me. I don't even think you need one. In this weather, you could never wear anything but just your... I mean, once you have a baby, there's just no... You just don't. I would just wear a man okay. thong if I didn't feel out of place because it's so hot. I think it's a little different. I don't know, but... None of the stores in Salem that we wanted to go to are open until 11? at the earliest so we're pretty much gonna yeah baby gonna check out the beach down here right in beverly like it could go either way it could rain or it could get sunny the sun's coming through but it also is sprinkling a little bit two leaves and she is on the move this girl Beverly Harbor. So this is the public beach right here. Riveru, we're doing it. River, look at this view. Look at this okay, I'm seeing what's going on here. These people have boats down here and then they can travel out to all those little islands wow. and explore. If you have money around here, you're living the absolute dream. If you don't have money, it's about the same as anywhere else. This beach is so cool though. So this place is pretty small right here, but probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest little private park I've ever been to. Look at this. We made it to official Salem. About to go to the crystal shop, to the magic parlor, which is basically a Halloween store. And this is like the main street right here, I believe. Unless I'm wrong. One of the main streets. But we're here. Salem Massey. It's like where the brick, uh, 
Where the streets closed off, right? Yeah. I believe, yeah. Yeah. Like the Harry Potter type area. Yeah. Vamp Fangs. It's that way, right? Yeah, yeah. That's actually a really good parking spot. Were the quarters enough? It was only an hour. Black Cat Tours. You heard that, Rue? They're trying to take all your all your thunder. All your skis. Don't let them steal your shine like that, baby. All right, so this is the what you would call, I guess, downtown Salem. There was nobody here either. No one here. The Twilight House. Don't remember that, but I remember the Nightmare Gallery. That they had really cool masks and stuff in there. I think it's a museum too. Super sick. Salem Five Cent Savings Bank. There's the Magic Parlor. The Hotel Salem. Is that a real hotel? Wow, you might as well just stay there. Right? No, I mean, we have literally a three bedroom, 2,000 square foot apartment. Which history museum? Crystal shop. The ultimate crystal shop. Look at this. Good stuff. They just drive right through here like this? That's pretty crazy, right? Those people were so stoked, so stoked to see Rue. That lady's face was like this. She saw Rue and she was like this. Look at all these little birds on, on the one way side. They're all going to it. I don't know if there's enough room for everybody up there. little travel tip that I was gonna give everybody. So we're at the Whole Food Supermarket, right? Owned by Amazon, is that true? Either way, they make good pizza here. I would say better pizza than most pizza places look. I'll show you guys. Look at these varieties. Wow, vegan supreme, no way. Pizza, look at this. So good. Might have to get one of those though. That looks so good. Some good treasure hunting down here on the beach. I'm debate I'm debating on whether I'm gonna go swimming. Finn seems to be really stoked about it down here though. She likes just seeing it. What was that? Something squishy between my toes. You like squishing it between your toes? They just have crazy squishy things on this beach. And it this guy a is super cool. Right here. Really? Yep. Yeah. Totally epic. What is that? What are these things? I don't know. That's what the squishy stuff is. Right 
Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what if I ate that? Would you be pissed? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, like a bat. Finley. She has her apple. She has her apple bar, and then she. Oh. <gasps> Oof. Oof. Got to get back up. She just puts her apple bar down. Yep. <laughs> Guys, watch this though. Figure this out. <gasps> oh. Oh. Get back up, right? Dust my knees off. There we go. Oh. You gotta get back up. And dust your knees off, right? She gets crazy. We gotta get back up and dust her knees off, right? I see a cat tower in there. So she doesn't feel bad about like that. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Dust my knees off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, those things. I don't even know what they are. They're hornets. They're hornets, yeah. Should I get like a big like Um stick? they think that we're coming oh my god, turn it. Get her key. away from Bean. I guess oh. just shut that door for sure. Drew, come on. Hey, you cannot have that go. Out of all the places in the house to hang out, the top deck is definitely the coolest. So it's night time. Uh, basically I filmed all the action, so we've been here hanging out, planning. That's it. I'll see you guys in the morning. And it's almost more work to be on so-called vacation than it is to just be at home. That's what's crazy. The th main thing is I would not suggest renting a house like this if you're not used to using stairs every five minutes because we're on the third floor right now, and the amount of times I've gone up and down and up and down and up and down is probably in the hundreds by now, and we've only been here since last night. Something to think about. And Rue's trying to get out here, but she's not allowed, because I don't want her to try and jump off of here. The sky looks cool, though. It's just hard to see on here. But yeah, either way, see you guys in the morning going out onto the front porch. So this is our last full day here. And then tomorrow we're gonna leave. I decided to come outside. It's about 7 a.m. Check out the mornings here. And ride my e-board, the crow cream, for a little spin. So this is the street right here. All right, let's get this board out. This is gonna be epic. Yeah, I gotta put my shoes on first.
super gnarly. ride all down by the area where we already know about the water right there everything so now I'm gonna go this way and go check out something that I've never seen before let's see at this place see would never have found this unless I was just cruising down here literally this such a cool little beach no way this is so epic this is the exact name for epic What's different too is the anchorage with all the boats. They do have that back home, but there's not nearly this many boats. But the, there's islands out there. That crow right now. And some of the islands are actually inhabited, so people live on some of those islands. This crow's like saying, get out of here. Make moves, that's what the crow's saying. this place so two for two epic epic spots that I just found Wow It's so easy and just perfect to sightsee around places like this with the electric skateboard. Because you can go fast like almost like a car, but you're also not walking so you can just cover so much distance. Probably one of the nicest houses I've seen. It's right there. 
And then this spot right here at the at the corner of our street is super gnarly too. And they have this massive like lookout tower up top. It's just so epic to have that. So we're here at the Savers thrift store in Danvers, Massachusetts, and they're saying 80% chance of rain. It's like 90 degrees out and super sunny, so I'm not sure about that. We do have Ruru, Fin Fin, and Mama Bear all squatting out to the Savers. Drift proud. These decorations are cool. The way they did this. I have heard uh, stories of them selling VHS tapes here. Let's see if it's true. Do they sell VHS tapes? See, here it is, Nantucket Chowder. Nantucket Chowder. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, unreal. That's literally the best VHS tape I've ever found at a thrift store in my life. I guess because of the people that live around here. Yeah. We got it. Found the VHS section. Train spotter. The Muppet maybe? Sealed? Wow. She had a Harriet the Spy VHS from when she was a kid. Somehow the tape broke inside and it was just going so it wouldn't play. So here's a fresh, extremely good condition second copy. Five dollars? Are you kidding? Look at this thing. Honestly, the, these Phillips VCRs are getting harder to find, so for 10 bucks, it's actually really good. For a VCR, it's like seven bucks, so even better, but 10's not bad either. Let's see, is this a second? A second record player. Wow. Check out this dollhouse. And then there's something inside it. gnarly dollhouse I would have to say that the the pricing and the items in this thrift store are much better than where we live so you get at least three legit BMX bikes in here this mongoose for $15.99 are you serious right now just the pegs alone are worth more than that cool, yeah are you gonna wear it This is where you find the classic stuff, though. Bonkers. Bonkers. They have a Harry Potter hat right here. Right? Or am I driven? No, it's not Harry Potter. I don't know what that is. It's not Harry It's like a Potter. private school. This is fire. Yeah, what's this all about? Is it? Yeah, for sure. This lantern's actually pretty cool, but... I'd like to be able to just take that out and put an actual candle in there. So I don't know. This is cool. That's what I'm saying. It's too big. Maybe we could. Yeah, it does. But that's you can't take. You can't take the candle out. That's the only thing. Where? I was, but I never got to that part. Yeah, so you were I was on the other, other side. side, yeah. Look, Harry Potter. 
Not gonna lie, the Halloween section in this store is on point. Look at all this. Wow. Hand sorted selections. And the selection continues on this side. So wild. All these hats. Wow. These are nice. I scored a record player. Couple VHS tapes. The bomb. Freaking bomb diggity. Fright night on VHS. Hard case and everything. What a score. But uh, Finn got a wand. And yeah, we are out. Successful mission to the savers. Piping hot out here. Unrealistic that it's gonna rain. Okay, we have returned back home. Um, from the thrift store, we went to the shoe store. I got these. These are actually probably my favorite shoes. This is the third pair I had of them in my life. I don't know if this is a bad idea that is gonna turn into a good idea or a good idea that could go bad, but I'm thinking about just like ollieing these steps right here. The only thing is this last one here is so gnarly. If I was to do this, run out of the house, pop it, and it just, Shred it. There's people everywhere. Even all this rain's not stopping this guy from running the tour. He's still doing it. Sammy J found prime parking spot right next to the main strip. So we parked there, forgot the camera, had to come back and get it. But they ran up to go to the one store the only thing is it's raining out, so not gonna be that exciting. The only thing that I can do is just show different videos of all this stuff right around here, and that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'm basically just gonna show you guys a bunch of different shots of Salem right now, right now. The Mal Cubby. From what I've seen is the only people who can drive on here are the police and the mail people and I guess delivery companies. But other than that, the road's fully closed off, obviously. Was it getting crazy there for a second? 
Yeah, see, I knew it was big in here. Can you just push her out of the way? All right, you got it. This is where Finn's gonna find some stuff. Oh yeah. Into the Thunderdome. Well, I knew it was big enough in here for no, them too. Look, this is the mecca of cool stuff. Look at all this stuff. Oh, s'mores, kitty. I love these. Oh, they're so cute. True. They really are. So much madness. Yeah, no, that's Superman. Swamp thing. Alright, let's go get some clam chowder. Are you trying to? Yeah. Alright, let's go get some clam chowder. What kind are you gonna get? Manhattan clam chowder? Uh, or New England clam chowder? New England. Obviously. <laughs> and then leave a little for fit for uh Rero. And she can lick it. Who gets her own bowl? That was a nice day hanging in Salem, you know, in the jewelry shop. For like five hours. You're the one who wanted to go back. You were like, you need to get a necklace. He said you need to get an amber necklace. Now it's time for some clam chowder. Some clam chowder. <laughs> what are you thinking, Ben? She's so mad right now. <laughs> She's pissed. She's like, just take me back to the house. I'm trying to watch my show. serious. Finn's Seafood and Grill. Official in, review. In Salem. Official review. Oh my gosh. What? So we got the New England clam chowder. But we oh got my bowls. gosh. We both got one. We each got one of these. Serving size. This is the serving size. Is this for real? These are rolls. Rollios. Oh my god. Oh, they only gave us two each. Damn, they didn't know how much I like rolls. Yeah. Pretty good rolls. Fish, fish tacos. tacos. Yeah, and they're fried, but it's With the cool. fried yeah. fish. Look at these suckers. Wow. Do you want to try one? You can't because they're fried. I think I'll just eat some of my soup. The only thing I'm debating on, should I pour half of my soup in a bowl because this is so big and savor the flavor and just put the other half in the fridge or something? Because like, how do you eat all this? And they said there was crackers with it. So she lied. That's everything? Yeah, we gotta, try, we gotta just try it. Oh my gosh. This is not real. How big this is, is so crazy. We're gonna try to do it more quietly because Finley's sleeping. Do you want this soup spoon? All right, first bite. You guys all know the first bite's the most important. This is the only New England clam chowder I've eaten in New England in multiple years. She's awake, so. The princess has woken. I should have been inhaling this. Is she actually up?
Good morning. Another beautiful day in paradise. It's our final day here. We're only here, you know, we our checkout's at about 11, I think. And then we have to get out. But we're gonna go, I'm gonna go get coffee, come back, and we're gonna load the car. And Finn's up there eating breakfast right now. Then we're gonna go to a special, special place that's called Nahant. And we're gonna check out the beach there. So we did it last time and we kind of found it by accident. But this time we've really been planning the Nahant trip. So Nahant today and then a crazy far ride back home and then back to the regular grind. Okay, Sammy's literally grabbing the last load of laundry that she did up in the house and then we are off to the Witch City Thrift Shop. Finn, are you excited? Ruru, are you excited? Okay, everybody's excited, so we're about to go. That was crazy, literally. Out of breath and dripping. Dripping wet. The steps? All right, here we go. Salem's most famous thrift store. About to go down. Which city? You gonna just miss it? I just throw it in diapers. Diapers? Look at this guy coming out of the cauldron. All right. Yeah, they do. There's another river. Alright. Oh, that's so exciting. This is where I got my um see they have the hats here and they're These cheaper. Hats are fire. Um alpaca coat that I yep. fifteen dollar guy. And it's so nice. Look. Real. We're trying to show you up. It's your great uncle. Wow. Oh, I've never piggy seen that banks. before. These are so cool. Seventeen bucks, I think, right? These are so cool. So the imagine. Cow light? Yeah. Wow, they have a lot of blow molds in here. Look at the ghosty uh the key key? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Rue. The Rue. Oh, they have a bigger one on the other side of Rue. The, the penguin, too. Could have just got the head here, huh? Yeah, but we tried to go here. here. They were close, though. You know what I'm saying? We would have gone here. Yeah. Are you going to be able to squeeze it? Our limited men's clothing section, but I know if they put it on the rack, it might be fire. Born to hunt. I don't know about that. Pretty nice. <laughs> Mr. Richard, U.S. Navy hat. I guess it's probably got to be hard to keep real good stuff in, in the store because there's so many people around here, they probably just buy it. Wow. Look at this dude. They do have incredible Halloween selection. Look at all these Barbies. Ruru, check this out. We got comic books. Tons of comics. One dollar each. And then we got, bam. Check this out, VHS, eight tracks, cassette tapes, 
VHS tapes. Let's see, do we have anything to add to the collection? Charles Bronson, Cold Sweat. Classic, Topsy Turvy. Never saw that before. Oh, they do have a bonus section down here. Vintage bikes. What's this? The toys. Toy slash. Depends. The only place in the world where you can get a wine cuddling dog, a pack of Depends, and a creepy doll all on the same rack. Look at this. Union Jack. I don't even remember that being a real character. Guess they're all about the dolls in here. Not even gonna lie, this towel right here is so sick beyond epic. See there, Cocoa Beach in Melbourne. Pretty cool. Well water. I don't doubt that at all. Look at the bottom of this container. Classic tape rewinder. Wow. Unreal. Who needs Home Depot when you got this hardware st store right here? I mean, look at this. How could you ever not use the Sunbeam hedge clippers? Wow, that's classic. This is like the clippers that they were using in The Shining. A little tripod. It's more of an easel. Go check out another section. What are they looking at? Did they find something good? Did you find something good? Rings, obviously. Ringies? Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding dings. These are nice though. You tugging on my shirt, baby Finn? Yeah? Look at this, babe. It's so sweet. She's not gonna let go. Is this like Scientology? What? what is this? Look at this. Okay. Finfin, look. Let's show her. Maybe Finn will know. She would not, maybe. Yeah. What is this I'm not going to touch it though because I just something creepy just fell out of it. The durst. It's like going clear. That's what it is. 
you know, they have this electronics they hook you up to. I bet you one of the ladies would know. <laughs> the bird? Like a real bird? <laughs> oh, yeah. We had that vulture. We had the same one. And then the head fell off. Yeah. They have good uh, Halloween dash in there, right? They do. How Chris, uh, Chris marking is on his face. King Quo. That look like Quo? It does look like Quo. Is this the My most name's ever, actually. How much is it? 22. Not bad. Too. And he talks. Oh man. He's like, mah, 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 mah. I mean, he's pretty good. He's worth it. I'm not gonna lie. This is a legit old sign too. This is so cool. Cause like these are made to look like that, right? And yeah, then this one's made. actually old. You know what? It does look like they have a lot of props or things that could be props for like independent films. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Or like photo shoots too. That guy's cool, just get that guy. Right? Yeah. Do you want to bring him to the front? Yeah. Didn't see these up here the first time. What do we got? Hercules? That's not the one I know about. Natalie Tyrants of the Rising Sun. Oh, it's a rock band. Type. These wood Sears containers, though. Something probably got delivered in those back in the day. And then they can just use them for storage. Lone Ranger bandana. Okay. They do have everything pretty much marked here. The Boston Daily Atlas. Hmm. I mean, that's cool. Map of Marblehead, also very cool. This is pretty vintage. This is like really old, actually. Little doctor coat. Who are we? Who are we talking about right here? Larry Bird. Wow, Lay's potato chips. I don't know that I would ever buy that, but wow, it's cool. And then what are these? This mask is really cool. Alright, just walking out of the thrift store. And check this out. Sammy found this and I knew right away that we must have it. Well, she did too. Look at this pumpkin. And supposed to have like batteries that can open the mouth and I guess it laughs or talks or something but hopefully it works either way this thing's amazing 1998 that's why super old 1998 
that's why like you don't see these because it's so old no yeah i had to have them guys for the family and he just looks like crow so like finn's a cutie do you hear that yeah what is it it's just the crosswalk All right, we are in Nahant, which is a very secluded area. But this is like the main street. So they have a little coffee shop that I got this from, Seaside Pizza. And then there's a hair salon right here. I think this is literally all the stores in the whole town. All right, we're just gonna go to the Seaside Pizza. No pets allowed. She's the best. All right, this is the spot. I don't know why. Let's go. Don't know why I ever questioned this to begin with. This is the fire spot. Yeah, baby, tuna sub. Oh man. I will do that. We'll get we'll get in town sometime soon. Visit. Awesome. Take it easy. Best best to everybody. Please pass it on. Hi, how are you? Am I gonna wave? I get a smile, that's better. Love that guy. Classic character right there, I can tell already. Oh, look, oh, she can have some of this if she wants. She might not want it though. You got your slice coming. Tuna sub, can't really beat it. No way. And this is what we came to Nahant for. And it's not over yet. The party just started. I mean, if there was cheaper places to stay in Nahant, we would just stay here. The only one they had there was like 500 a night. People, people, this is why we wanted to come to Nahant. This beach is so cool. Wow. I might want to try to like venture out to these rocks all the way out to that big rock out there. I wonder if that's even possible. Hey Finn, maybe we can name this beach after you. Cause it's so stinking magical. <laughs> yeah, my stinky. All right, I'm gonna make the journey. All right, Finn, what do you think if I jumped from here off the cliff into the water? Do you think that's doable? All right making my way out to the main rocks. I feel like that one would be good to jump off of. There's like an island out there. Wow, this is so crazy. Look at this. 
It's like a little cave. You can camp out under there. Camp out under there for shelter. This one's way deeper. I could jump off of here easy. So really, I, I wanted to uh, go out to that rock. I'm not sure if I really have the time, but. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna run off of here and jump into the water. It's probably gonna be shockingly cold, but we're gonna do it anyways. So I'm gonna jump from here and just try and do it like a cannonball down into there. Seems like this is a pretty dumb idea, but I got this. That was insane. That was so epic. No way. No way. How do I get back up? That was so cool. That was epic. What? You didn't get it? All right, I just fully flooded the other GoPro because it had a little piece on there that wasn't waterproof, which I didn't know. So maybe I ruined a GoPro. It pretty much happens all the time, so it wouldn't be that uncommon, but I'm just gonna make an attempt to make it to Castle Rock. This seems like the trail here. Oh yeah, now we're talking. make a, a run for it here oh wow yeah this is really cool All right, made it to Castle Rock. Official. Wow, you can go down over there. Epic. Now you could definitely jump off of here. Epic.
This is a full-blown staircase that someone built right there. Well, if I lived in that house over there, I would be using this for the best filming location. You could literally just rent this out to like a vampire movie shoot. Imagine just a bunch of creeps down here in robes doing like a ceremony or something. Whew. And running around on here is great exercise. All right, that was totally epic. I was out on that rock. I wanted to go to the main one, but I also don't feel like getting yelled at by somebody. But I'm gonna probably just put the camera in the car and spend some family quality time down here for a little bit at least. That's why I don't put any cups like in her cup holder. Like I don't even put her milk in that cup holder. She's got the she's got the necklace. She likes this necklace. On lock. Okay, we officially made it back home. Who's that little girl? Butters. But, but. Hey. Butters. Hey. Did you miss us? I know. I know. It is. Nope, my phone's dead. Really late. It's probably like 1.32 in the morning. It took us about almost seven hours with traffic and road closures to get back from Massachusetts to New Jersey. Whew. We did end up staying at the beach way longer than we should have to beat the traffic, but it was worth it. Unforgettable family vacation for three days. It seemed like it was more work going there with a toddler than it would have been to just stay home. That's the crazy thing. It was supposed to be like a getaway, but it ended up just being insanely tiring. Wouldn't trade it for anything, and we will definitely be returning to that beach for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed our vlog. Little different than the average video, um, but I know a lot of people like the variety. They like the family videos. So hopefully that whole trip can be compacted into this video that you just watched in a comprehensive way uh, for everyone to enjoy. But I'm literally so beat and I'm about to eat something and go to sleep. So. See y'all in the next video. Peace out. And there was one thing I wanted to see real quick before I go to sleep. So this is the GoPro that went in Davy Jones's locker with me. Whew. I had a door on here, but it wasn't the door that have to have to go in the water. I didn't realize that there was a little hole in it so that you could charge through the door and it could have cost me the GoPro and the footage but we're gonna check out the footage right now and see if we got the jump to see what else we got or didn't get so let's see it's looking good so far let's go all the way to the bottom Oh, I think I got everything.
pretty sure I got it all. Alright, let's play it again. From the start, here it is. Castle Rock. The most epic. There it is, the jump. Alright, so I got the jump on film. The GoPro didn't get waterlogged until after everything. Do you want to say? Oh my god, butters! Wow. Look how tough she thinks she is. Look at this girl. She's puffing everything. She has all of Rue's hair in her paw. You see it in her right paw? She's mad that Rue went with mm. us. Oh, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else? No, get out of here. This is it right here. It doesn't, it's nothing special. I was just making sure. You're tough. You got it, my stinky. Baby, are you okay? Here. Wow. Yeah, that cool. Wow. Do I look like a merman? Mm -hmm. Alright, so that was what I was trying to determine. Whether I had all the footage that we shot today. But yeah. We do. And that's it. That was the trip. Say something to everybody. Thanks for coming along with us. She didn't come along with us. No, again. <laughs> Look at all of that's so rude. Yeah. That's literally the worst. These guys are bullies. Alright, peace everyone. Good night. Or good morning. Yep.